super skims vibes. Don't get me wrong, they're really soft and stretchy, but I don't think they're worth 105 pounds. <sighs> 65 pounds. It is just like the perfect fit. I don't even know if I can show you, it's that bad. It's not really acceptable. Again, just love this top. What do you guys think? Do you think these leggings are worth 115 pounds? I spent nearly 600 pounds on Skim's new activewear range. And I'm here to give you first impressions, first thoughts, a non-sponsor video on their new activewear range and whether I think it is worth the hefty price tag. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, I'm Ellie and I do food, fitness and lifestyle content. I am so excited for today's video because I feel like I've been wanting to do this video for a very long time and when Skims bought out their new activewear range, I thought what a better time than to film this video because if you know me, then you'll know that I I have genuinely every single activewear brand going. My cupboards are full. I wear activewear for every single occasion and basically every single day of the week because I like to feel comfortable. And when Skims, my favorite everyday brand, announced they were finally doing gym wear, I just had to try it. So this parcel arrived. For 600 pounds, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> I don't know, a little bit more extravagant. But anyways, there is 600 pounds worth of clothes in here. And before I get started, I am a UK size eight to 10. I'm a 32D on my bust. And I usually wear a small in basically everything. But when I was ordering this Skims clothing, one thing I was so confused with on their website was whether their sizes were in US or UK sizing because obviously it's quite similar in terms of like the actual numbers. But from what I worked out, I think it's US sizing. So if you're ever ordering from Skims and you're from the UK, just obviously bear that in mind that it is US sizing and you will have to convert it. So I got a small in everything, which apparently is a UK 8 to 10. So we'll see exactly how we fit. And I basically bought every single color that they've released. I bought it in like different styles so we can kind of just go through it and see what it looks like. I did try to put it together as outfits so that if you guys also wanna buy it, you can see what it looks like as a little cute outfit. So, first of all, starting with the black set that I bought, I got this black long sleeve top. First impressions, I'm impressed. I really love how this looks. The fit of it looks like the perfect kind of cropness. And the fabric is so soft and stretchy still. Super Skims vibes, you know, like their buttery soft fabrics. However, it is a little bit more thicker compared to their usual stuff, but I would expect that anyways. Obviously it's gym wear and I don't want to be wearing super thin stuff. All of the stuff has this logo on it somewhere, I think because they collaborated with a company in order to do this. But yeah, first of all, I quite like this. I think it looks good. And the one thing I would say about this entire collection from Skims is that it is rather pricey. So guys, guess Guess how much this top was because looking at my phone, I'm actually in shock. I don't know if it's worth that. I don't know. I feel like it's quite expensive. For this top alone, it was £85. I feel like that's a lot of money for that. I don't know. What are your thoughts? And then to go with this top, I bought some black leggings. Now, I've also just looked at the price of these and I might just be a little bit sick at how much these are because... Like, don't get me wrong, they're really soft and stretchy, but I don't think they're worth £105. I don't know. <laughs> it's almost like Lululemon prices, but more. And I mean, they feel incredible, they do. However, I would say that these leggings are also very short. I'm five foot eight and I'm intrigued to see what these are gonna look like on. Okay, I'm not exaggerating, but I'm afraid as to how I'm gonna get this off. Like it's so like impressive and tight. I don't know, maybe I should have ordered the size up, but this genuinely, <sighs> it's actually quite hard to breathe though. It's, it's so compressive. Wow. I mean, it is like comfy-ish, but it's just so, so tight and compressive. And these leggings, for me, they're just not like, they're just not high-waisted enough. And they've also got a front seam. So I feel like if I pull them up a little bit more, they're almost gonna give me that camel toe, which is not ideal. And from the bum as well, I'm just gonna put the camera down. So from the bum, they're just not like, I would've thought that Kim would've made these a bit more flattering. What do we think? And then lengthwise, do you know what? They're not actually as short as I thought they were gonna be, which is good. So that's a positive. Do you get what I mean? Like this is the length of them. So you can kind of see it comes like, to like a good length. I would say the length is good, but the leggings just don't, don't really feel like they do much for me. And I feel like if I squat, 
you see my pants? I feel like they're quite see-through, or is that me? Anyways, this is 100% going back. It's so tight. I definitely could have done with a size up. So if you are ordering, I would 100% get a size bigger than what you think because it is very, very, very compressive. But the fabric is super soft. I just think it's quite like a, a, a tight fabric. This whole outfit together is nearly 200 pounds. 200 pounds. Wow. Okay, next up we have probably my favorite color, which is called Oxide. Now this actually feels a lot less rigid compared to the one that I've got on, so that's good. And I really love this color and the fit, and I love how it's like kind of shaping and contouring here. Now this top, I got to go with these shorts. Now I was kind of thinking that these shorts again would be a bit more high-waisted. They don't have a front seam, so that's really good. And I feel like I'm probably gonna like these a lot more. They do look quite small again, and they do also look quite low-waisted, but I do actually find though with like normal skim stuff, it does look quite small. So I'm hoping that these are gonna fit because I feel like this could be a really cute outfit. So these shorts were 85 pounds, which I feel like is a lot for that material, but if they fit really well, then I might be inclined to keep them. And then the top was 65 pounds, which I mean, I feel like that is expensive, but if it is a good top, then it's worth it. But yeah, it definitely is like the higher kind of price bracket. Wow, so I absolutely love this top. It is just like the perfect fit. It really kind of sculpts under your boobs and it's like so comfy. This top is so gorgeous. I love it. I love the color. I think it's just perfect for like this time of the year as well. You know, one of those tops that you want to wear when you don't want to wear like a sports bra, but you want to wear a top that's not like baggy and big. This is like the perfect in between top. These shorts, however, <laughs> guys, I feel like I am literally like the definition of camel toe slash labia on show here. <laughs> I don't even know if I can show you. Is that bad? I'm sorry. What the? <laughs> Why is there so much? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's gone on here. The shorts are actually a lot longer than I thought they would be. And they're really soft. They're really sculpting. However, this bit part here is not really acceptable. They're not like, they're not high, high waisted. I feel like that's the problem. There's not enough room here. And if you're shorter, do you know what? This probably wouldn't happen. But because I am five foot eight, I feel like it just doesn't fit my body type. I don't know. I'm obsessed with the fabric though because these are just so soft, but the fit here is not doing it for me, unfortunately. Okay, so I feel like we're gonna have to do a squat test because obviously these are gym shorts. Are they seeing through? I feel like these are. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so last but not least, I ordered their new leggings which have a stirrup in them. Now, my own brand actually has stirrup leggings, but this type of legging that Skims bought out is very different, and apparently they're meant to stay on when you're doing hip workouts, so I'm really excited for that. This is the colour that I ordered. So, it's called Gun Metal, and I ordered it as a set. So, first of all, I've got the same top that I've got on now, which I'm actually super glad that I did, because I love this top. Like, I feel like this is the kind of top I'm just not going to take off. It's so comfy. And, like I said, just love, like, that contour. Then, to go with it, I bought these leggings. They are the same as the black, but they have this stirrup thing at the end like your feet go into it but it's quite a big kind of stirrup apparently yeah it's meant to stay on during hip workout so see what that looks like i don't feel like it's even a bit much better than the last ones um but yeah we'll just see what they look like on these leggings I feel like they broke my bank <laughs> i don't know they were 115 pounds 115 pounds for a pair of gym leggings i feel like that is so much money for a pair of gym leggings what do we think Anyways, I'll try it on and you can let me know your thoughts. Okay, do you know what? Again, just love this top. The colour. I think this is a really cute colour. Okay, so these leggings with the foot stirrup actually fit a little bit better than the black ones. They feel a bit more high-waisted. However, again, we've just got this situation down here, which I can't really ignore. And I don't feel like they're that kind of flattering on, on the bum. But I guess, do you know what? I think it really depends what you're kind of after with a pair of leggings because if you're someone that just loves going to yoga or pilates you don't want leggings that make your bum look huge i don't know you just want like really comfortable stuff so i think it just depends like what you're going to be doing this foot thing so as you can see there like how it it's like a really, really weird position as you can see here it kind of like sculpts your foot which definitely would be so good if you do like pilates or hip for sure and it's not actually like that uncomfortable it is quite good so i'm quite liking that but i'm not really much of a hip person so 
I probably won't keep these. And do you know what? Like, just this situation here kind of ruins it for me. I feel like for me and my body type, they need a bit more room here and we need to get rid of this middle kind of stitch. What do you guys think? Do you think these leggings are worth 115 pounds? I'm just not sure. I do feel like if I was a bit shorter, this probably would have all fitted a bit better, which is a bit of a shame, but definitely good to try it. And it is definitely still Skims vibes. Like I can really tell that this is Skims just of like the fit and how tight it is and how it kind of like contours your body and makes you feel really good. So yeah, that was my order guys, as you can see there. Crazy that it could cost that much, but I do feel with Skims, the quality is always there though. So I feel like when you buy from them, even though it's a bit more expensive, you know that it's gonna last again and again and again, which is really great. And I'm personally trying to not buy so much fast fashion now because I just get so fed up of buying something just for one occasion and then just never wearing it again or just throwing it out. Whereas like something like this, I would genuinely wear again and again. So even though it's a bit more expensive, you really have to think of cost per wear. And I think Skims is a really great example of that, especially with this. But unfortunately, I just don't feel like some of this stuff suited my body type. But yeah, maybe if I've got like a size medium in the long sleeve top and I don't know, I feel like if I've got a medium in the leggings, I do feel as if they would have been too big, big because there is room here and they do really fit. It's just the length of like the gusset. Is that what you want to call it? I don't know. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, then obviously let me know. And if you have any other brands that you want me to try, then please comment below because I'm always looking for new brands to try. And I feel like I'm a creature of habit and I always stick to the same ones. I never actually really branch out. I always buy from the same brands because I know it's going to be good. So yeah, if you have any recommendations or brands you think I should definitely give a go, then comment below and please like this video and I'll see you at the same time next week when I'm really excited because I'm actually gonna be in the land of Kim. I'm actually going to LA for a week. So next week's video is gonna be more of like a holiday type video, which I can't wait. So thanks guys and see you next week.